This is Schuster's Pumpkin Patch. Um, we're actually Schuster's Greenhouse majority of the year, but from about September 15th to October 31st, we become Schuster's Pumpkin Patch. Our family's been farming here for 94 years. Um, it was brought here by my, my great-grandfather, so I am fourth generation, and I joined the business about two years ago. And in fall, we obviously grow pumpkins, corn stalks, straw, all kinds of different gourds, and uh, other Indian corn. Um, we really started off, my Uncle Ed started uh, selling pumpkins about 40 years ago as a high school project and it slowly has grown and grown into what it is today. So here at Schuster's Pumpkin Patch we try really hard to um, provide an experience that fits all needs. So no matter what your economic background is, whether you have 50 cents or you have $50, you can come and have a really good time here at Schuster's. We don't charge to come to our farm, you can come and hang out. Um, our cheapest pumpkin is 50 cents. Um, and we also try to make sure every kid goes home with a treat and a little prize. So if you come and do the scavenger hunt, you'll get a prize. And then obviously any kid that comes, we always offer them something sweet to eat on the way out. Um, so we always try to, we're trying to make sure everybody in the community can enjoy. Uh, so Pink Days is an event that we hold, hold here at the Pumpkin Patch. It's to raise money for a nonprofit called Power for Pink. And it's near and dear to our hearts because uh, three of our family members went through having breast cancer. And that organization was an organization that really stepped in and helped them. So for us, uh, we like to try to help and support that organization. Um, so we hold Pink Days from October 16th to October 24th, and that's this year, 2021. Um, and we sell uh, tickets for raffle baskets, um, so you can win a basket, and then all the proceeds go to Power for Pink. So obviously, we've been in the area for 94 years. Um, that's when my great-grandfather bought the property here. Um, and so it's really been something we've, we've grown to be a part of the community and enjoy being a part of this community. Um, we're one of the few farms left in Elyria, uh, and so we, we hope to remain here as long as we can and continue to grow and, and provide uh, the community with the need of um, pumpkins and gourds and family time, but then also in the spring, flowers and plants.